Let me see that beer. Here with Chase Elliott, finished second in the 2014 Winchester uh, 400. Finished second to Eric Jones. Had a great little battle there with him. You got to his rear bumper several times. You just couldn't complete the move. What stopped you from passing him? Uh, just being a little bit too tight there at the end. Um, after we after we got in that wreck, we we just fought being really free, so we took a rubber out of the right rear, and I think that was just a little too tight to really run hard there at the end. And uh, circumstances just just weren't weren't good enough for us today. You seemed a little frustrated with the CRA officials. Well, what was the disagreement there? Ah, uh, well, it's, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, go ask them. Go ask them. They know. They know that those guys had a little bit of advantage on everybody else on pit road. Not only us, and I know we're not the only ones frustrated with it. So, I uh, just hate hate the race to be determined by by something that could have been fixed at the beginning of the day. Earlier in the race, you had spun out. You had a tire that appeared to go down. Uh, Ross got into you. You were just talking to Ross just now. Are you two okay? Yeah, we're good. I mean, I, I hate it for him. I, by no means do I don't want to take anybody out like that. But. Uh, you know, I, I didn't really know what was going on. Then we had some kind of issue, and finally the left rear went, let go up off of two. And I know a few guys got involved. I hate that happened, but uh, we were fortunate enough to come out with, you know, the thing wasn't damaged too bad, so we were able to come back and get ourselves back in position to, to finish the race. Did the damage at all from the contact affect your car? Uh, it did a little bit. It just kind of put us in a, in a bad position because we ended up putting a smaller left rear tire on, so that gained a bunch of stagger, made us really loose there for a long time. So uh, just kind of put us in a bad spot. We were, we, were, we were fortunate enough to get back on the lead lap. That was the that was the biggest goal once that happened was we just needed to get back on the lead lap. I knew if we could do that, we'd be, we'd be in good shape. So uh, I hate we finished second, but uh, we'll, we'll go get them in Nashville. We know your NASCAR Camping World Truck Series schedule, but what more do you have planned for the super late model side? I was going to plan on going to run Nashville All American 400, and uh, we're going to go do the snowball again. So hopefully we can we can have uh, two two really good runs at Nashville and Pensacola, and um, if we can do that, I'll be happy. Coming to a NASCAR track near you, Chase Elliott finishes second in the Winchester 400. Thanks, Chase.